most folks are pretty familiar with the idea of the theory of evolution. And that's all fine and good, but most of those changes supposedly take place over very long periods of time, eons or at least thousands of years, according to many people, hundreds or thousands of years, if the theories are even correct. I want uh, to take a moment, though, to talk about a more meaningful form of evolution, that being a personal evolution. Hello and welcome to the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Today is February the 23rd of 2021. It is a Tuesday today. Uh, thank you to everybody who's joining me today, whether you're coming here from Rumble, the podcast, YouTube, or some other platform. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming along. And I very much enjoy having folks check in and see what I'm at, what I'm saying on a given day. Subject for today is meaningful evolution, and I wanted to take just a moment to talk about that idea. Uh, I've said in past, and I'm going to shout him out by name today, that there's a guy who I tend to listen to periodically, and sometimes he infuriates me, and other times we see so closely eye to eye that it's an amazing thing. That fellow is a fellow by the name of Tim Pool, and he will tell you that he is a liberal in the more classical sense of the term, and I don't think that that's necessarily incorrect in some senses about who he is. But I will say that over the course of time, he has grown and changed and has been shaped by the circumstances that he finds around him. And let's be honest, that's something that happens to each and every one of us. Uh, it turns out that experience is a pretty darn good teacher. <laughs> it teaches us a lot of stuff. It gets us to understand things that we maybe don't get otherwise. Uh, we may have thought we understood something reasonably well, and then experience comes along and claps us upside our head to show us that maybe we didn't get something as well as we thought we did. And I think that Mr. Poole will have to agree that that's something that's happened to him over the course of time. In fact, I, I, I am going to talk a little bit more about this on another video that I do later on, in which I sort of cover the idea of a meaningful life, right? Uh, because uh, I think Tim, Tim has sort of picked up some things there that can make a life meaningful. I'm not going to get too into detail on that because I really want to save that for the other video that I'm intending to do that I think really deserves an entire video by itself. Uh, but the thing of it is this. We've all met, well, look, I am an old guy. Let's face it, I'm, I'm over 50, right? And that to most folks is an old guy. And a lot of people look at us and think we're just all bitter, bitter and disillusioned or feeling disenfranchised. And you know, the truth of the matter is there's something to all of that. <laughs> there's something to all of that. You get a little bit bitter sometimes. You get a little bit disillusioned now and then, and you feel a little bit disenfranchised. This is just life. This is how things work. And what you end up realizing is I have to count on just one person over all others, and that's myself. And that is one thing that I think Tim and I agree on largely. But obviously, I'm not just talking about Tim. I'm talking about anybody who's younger, who's looking at older people and seeing these traits in those people. But one of the things about it is this. Yes, it may be true that these people have issues of various kinds that have come on as a result of the fact that they're dealing with a world that doesn't necessarily understand them. And further, that they're dealing with a world that they understand better then a lot of that world, a lot of the people in that world understand the world they're in. Look, you're in high school, you're in elementary school, you're even in college, and you meet somebody who's been 30 years out of any kind of schooling. And I promise you they're not going to look at the world in the same way you do at this moment in time. And the reasons for that are, in part, the school of hard knocks, you can argue. But the reality is... Everybody gains experience, and has, as they gain experience, they become more able to know things and understand things about their world that maybe you don't understand as well. Now, to be fair, sometimes what happens is they have things happen to them, and it scares them, or it uh, terrifies, terrifies them, or concerns them, or whatever. And those people end up losing the ability to discern between real fears and, and what people term phobias. Look. Falling out of an airplane, that's a real fear. Airplanes falling out of the sky, not a huge fear, but a real one. Sticking your hand in fires, real fear that you're going to burn yourself. Okay, There is such a thing as a real fear, and you should take that into consideration. Understanding your limitations. This is real, too. Okay, Fears are important. 
but understanding your limitations. I'm not jumping to the moon unassisted. Not doing it. That's not to say that I can't learn to jump pretty high if I choose to do so. These days, as I've said recently to somebody, I don't really jump at all most of the time. I'm not saying I can't. I'm just saying that that's not something mostly I find the time to do or the reason to do. It's too jarring a thing unless I have a real reason to do it. That goes for running a lot of the time, too. I don't do a lot of running these days unless I have a really good reason to do it. Because, let's face it, running is something that most of the time doesn't help you a lot. And let me give you another helpful tidbit. I had people, I had a, a couple of people today taking my son to school, passing me like I was standing still, only to end up at the next light with me in front of them in the other lane. Okay, there are a lot of things that you learn along the way that make it so that you decide that some of the things that people think are important are not really all that important, right? But the point of all of this is there's this, there's this sort of meaningful evolution that occurs for each of us, this personal evolution that occurs for each of us that makes it so that we figure out that the things that we thought when we were younger, maybe they weren't as important as we thought they were, right? And maybe these other things that we didn't think were important at all, maybe they're actually really pretty important. I have a niece who put a, a meme out on Facebook, and one of the things that it said was really, really true, and I think a lot of people don't get. 1% a day improvement on something means in 100 days you've got 100% improvement. It didn't put it exactly like that. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. The point is a percent a day is actually a pretty good improvement. And we'll move you along quite nicely to your end. Let's say you can't do a percent a day for 100 days. Even if you can do a, a percent a day for 10 days, that's 10%. Or, or 50 days, that's 50%. Right? And so the point is, every day you go along, if you seek to improve, to evolve, to make yourself a better person, to bring up your understanding, to conquer those fears that aren't meaningful, that aren't reasonable... And when you, when you do all of this, this is meaningful evolution. This is personal evolution on the part of the person who's going through it that's going to help that person to become a better, uh, more able human being in some regards. Now, let, look, let's face it. When you're young, you can run fast. You can jump higher lots of times. You can, you can uh, work longer. You can sleep less and so forth. And some of that's true and some of it's not. But but the point is, and, and everybody's different on that too, but the point is most people when they're younger, they're full of vitality, vigor, and vim. But the thing is, as you get older, you begin to realize certain things that don't necessarily negate the need for that, but they make it so that you can have somebody else do that kind of thing while you do things that maybe they can't do at all yet. Maybe they will be able to at some point. I'm not saying they'll never come to the place where they can do the things that you can do, because most of the time people will come to that kind of place. They will, right? Not everybody will get to the place that you will in life. But the point is, if we work on our, quote, personal evolution, we will become more and more able, better and better at certain things that it turns out sort of matter uh, and that we really can't do when we're younger. That's just the reality of it. So the thing is, you should realize that where older folks may be bitter or disillusioned or disenfran feel disenfranchised or whatever, that doesn't mean that they haven't picked up some things that make it so that they're better able to deal with their universe than you are to deal with yours. And that doesn't mean, like I say, there aren't certain advantages that you p don't possess as well. Of course you do. You possess certain advantages as well. But all of that being said, the point of life, a large part of the point of life, in my opinion, is that meaningful evolution, that personal evolution that moves you from point A to point B, that makes you better able to deal with your world and to help other people to deal with theirs. Okay, I'm basically out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Yet again, I'm trying to keep myself to a, a dull roar to 10 minutes, so or in that neighborhood, so folks can know that they probably won't spend more than 15 minutes dealing with me. And as such, I am going to go ahead and wrap it up. As I say, today is Tuesday, February the 23rd of 2021. That means tomorrow will be 
uh, Wednesday, February the 24th, and I'm going to try and get another daily summation out then. I'm trying to get one out one a day, and that's working out pretty well so far. At some point, I may decide that I need to extend what I'm doing and talk about multiple subjects or something like that. At this point, I'm pretty happy doing what I'm doing, so I'll probably stick with where I am. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Hope the weather is nice for you, uh, pleasant and uh, so forth. Hope uh, if you've had the snow that's starting to melt off for you, maybe, and you're able to get around and do the various things that you want to do. And hopefully we will see you again tomorrow. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video is recorded on Tuesday, February 23rd of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurtz Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurtz Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon if you want to support me. That's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with a with an S dot kpshubert.com. That's podcasts dot dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.